Welcome back again, science fans and science parents. These wonderful goodies appeared on my doorstep recently. Yes, I recently subscribed to Mel Science, probably the most popular series of STEM science kits out there. As my first shipment, I received the Starler Lab Kit, VR headset shell, and my first experiment kit. Now I'm going to come back to this experiment kit in my next video where I'll do a full review of it. So subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that video. In this video I'm going to address the following topics. Who is Mel Science? How does their subscription service work? What is their range of science kits? We're going to look inside this starter lab kit, the foundation principles of their experiments. It's all very well organized. We're going to look at the Mel Science app on your phone, the VR headset and VR experiences. And finally, we'll get to the conclusion. Phew! That's a lot to get through in this video, so get comfy with your favourite beverage and snacks, and keep watching. Let's go. So who is Mouse Science? You can see here that it operates out of London in the UK, but it also has a US subsidiary. And as I mentioned in the intro, uh, they're the, probably the leading supplier of STEM science kits. You may have the obvious question that I did, and that is, what does MEL or MEL stand for? Uh, their mission is to make everyone love science. Uh, now that's a thing that's very dear to my heart, as you all know. So MEL stands for Make Everyone Love. There you are. Now you know. So if you browse their website, you can see that uh, the company has won numerous awards. Also, they're approved by experts. Uh, Chemistry World, the Royal Society of Chemistry, Science Magazine, and uh, CNEN, which is the American Chemical Society. They have a variety of subscriptions available. Uh, you can choose to receive one or two boxes of experiments per month. And you can see here that the prices change depending upon your uh, billing period, which is very typical. Uh, monthly, as always, is the most expensive. If you pay up front for a year, you can get these boxes for as little as $30 a month. So that's one experiment box per month. And they have a whole range of different projects to choose from. If we go back to the home page and we look at subjects, you can see that they have a variety of experiments in the STEM category, physics, chemistry, medicine, and they also have space which isn't mentioned here. For example, if we look at chemistry and browse all projects, uh, you can get a better idea of what's available. Just in chemistry alone, they have all these monthly kits. And each kit typically has about three or four experiments in it. So there's a huge range here. And when you subscribe, you can select exactly which uh, subjects you want to subscribe to. You could just say, I only want to do chemistry. 
Or you could do what I did. I subscribed to Chemistry and Space. So they're going to send me either a space or a chemistry kit every month uh, until we run out of kits, I guess. And at any time you could expand that and say, I want to do physics now, or I want to do medicine. So their subscription model is very, very flexible. Here's an example of one of their kits. Uh, this is in the physics subject, alternative energy. And in the next video, I'll be reviewing one of these kits and stay subscribed to the channel. I'll be looking at uh, quite a few of these mail kits. And you can see in this particular one, it has four experiments. Wind energy, solar energy, heat energy, and energy transformation. When you first subscribe, in your first shipment, you get the basic lab kit, which you can use for all ongoing experiments. Let's take a look at what we've got inside. First off, we have a manual. Take a look at that in a moment. We have an experiment tray. And unlike many kits, this isn't cardboard. This is hard plastic. Good stuff. First off, we have two pairs of safety glasses. One for the parent and one for the child. Good thinking that. I like that a lot. And look at this fabulous foam padding in here. In here, we have a funnel. A glass speaker. Good quality stuff. We have buns which I imagine go into test tubes at some point. There's a solid one. There's one with a hole in it to thread a little tube through. And there's another one with two holes in it for two tubes. There's a whole series of beakers. Plastic cups. <laughs> it's like a million plastic cups here. Um, I guess it's, you're never going to run out of these. There's another glass beaker. There's a big plastic beaker. And mine was cracked is a shame but uh, after a quick email to their support they're going to send me a replacement. This I think, I'm not entirely sure what this is, um, I guess we'll find out later. It might be part of the VR goggles. Um, might be for holding something. There's a wooden platform. And there's a metal platform. Now I think this is part of their poor man's Bunsen burner, which you can assemble and it gives you a little cradle where you can put a heat source under for heating liquids in the beakers. A 
this looks like it is part of the that burner assembly. We'll look at that later and see how that goes together. And then finally, there's a clip with a little wheel on it. So that's what you get in this uh, fabulous starter lab kit. Let's take a look at the enclosed booklet. This isn't intended to detail how to run the experiments. Uh, we'll come back to that later. This is more of a operations guide. It concentrates mostly on safety. Safety requirements, first aid, information for parents, disposal of chemicals, battery safety precautions, safety glasses specification, how to uh, keep your safety glasses in good uh, condition. There's a section here about before you start. And that's it. But most of the information is included in the experiment kits and in the app. And we'll get to that soon. So this is the experiment kit that I got with my first shipment. Now, I'm going to be reviewing this fully in another video, but for now, we want to look at the instructions for the experiments. And here we have the instruction booklet, which is very standard for all these kits. This is the carbon filter experiment, and it tells you the difficulty, the danger, and the duration it takes to run this experiment, along with some notes for safety and disposal. You get a very handy page that tells you exactly what to take from the basic lab kit and what to take from this particular experiment box. And then it will walk you through the instructions, exactly how to run each experiment. There's another way to get the instructions too and there is a special what they call a MEL code, it's basically a QR code, in every experiment and when you scan that you can look up the instructions in the app and we'll come to the app in a moment. Now I accidentally discovered that there's another set of instructions if we go back to the box, there's this uh, paper overlay which on the back tells you exactly what's in the kit. Um, but in fact, if you remove this paper inlay from the box, like so, there is also the instructions here for each of the three experiments. As you can see, it has the same information as the little instruction booklet. Safety, disposal, and the step-by-step -step instructions. Albeit there's no pictures in this, so the little booklet is better. And there's some advice up here for the uh, adult supervising the experiment and repeated first aid and safety instructions. I love that they're taking safety extremely seriously in these kits. Also, I noticed that there's this uh, very interesting thing here. It says, send us photos of your experiments via the Mel Science app 
and our scientists will check and endorse them. I wonder how that works and exactly what they say. Uh, so as I say, we'll come back to this kit um, in another uh, video. In fact, the video after this one. But right now, I just wanted to point out the standard format for their instructions, which is the same in every kit. This is the assembled burner. It's this metal frame that we looked at earlier in the kit. And uh, you put solid fuel in the, on the base here and ignite it. And then you put your flask or your beakers on the top to uh, boil in the heat. Remember these, uh, which I wasn't quite sure what they were when I unpacked the kit. It's actually a stand for putting your tablet or phone on. Like so. So that you can have this available conveniently to read the instructions of the app as you're conducting the experiment. That's pretty clever and I haven't seen any other science kit do this. So here's the free app from Mel Science. This is running on the iPhone but you can run it on the Android too. There's a ton of useful information in this app. For example, the profile here lets you know what courses you're subscribed to. As you can see, I'm subscribed to Chemistry, Physics and Space, which means in any one month I'll receive a random kit from those courses. And I can edit and change those at any time. I can see the status of my orders. Uh, so I can look at which kits have been shipped, uh, whether they've arrived or not. For example, if I look here at the water recovery systems kit, and here you can see it shipped and scheduled for delivery. I have this kit, uh, but if I didn't, I could track the package here. And then it has useful information, uh, some videos, uh, some basic information about the experiments, but the main thing you're going to be using this app for is to scan their QR codes. Uh, you can scan many of the products that are in the kits by clicking on the top right here. There's a little uh, icon for scanning their QR code. And as you can see, here it is. For example, I'm going to scan this uh, little bottle of charcoal here. Here's the QR code. Boom. Now, charcoal, of course, is very simple, it's just a carbon atom. Uh, but it has the information, some good science explanations here about carbon. Uh, you can link to the Wikipedia page. Let's try this one, scan QR code. And I get this a couple of times. Sometimes it doesn't find a result. I don't know whether that means the QR code is incorrect or they just haven't put it in the app. Uh, you need to fix that one now. Uh, let's scan another one. This is methylene blue. And uh, wow, look at this guy. This is a pretty complicated reagent right here. And it's got a common name, methylene blue. Methyl lithium chloride, apparently. And uh, once again, there's some uh, explanation of what this is. But by far, the most useful thing you're going to do with this app is use it as a way to follow the experiments. Instead of using the booklet that came with the kit, uh, you can set up your phone on the little stand they provided and walk through the experiment that way. So again, I'm going to use the QR code to scan it, a uh, very convenient method. And here I am in the booklet, and I'm going to scan this code here. And here we are. This is the ion exchange resin experiment. 
uh, just like in the booklet, it, it, it has the difficulty level, the danger level, how long the experiment's going to take. And there's a lot of really helpful information here. Information on safety, some troubleshooting, in case things go wrong when you're running the experiment. There's the expected result and explains uh, the science behind what you're going to see at the end of it. Uh, there's a scientific description which has uh, some extra information. And there's a final section called That's Interesting. Let's see if it is indeed interesting. And once again, there's some extra information to read. Uh, for example, why do metals replace each other? Uh, there's some great science in here. Uh, heavy metals in water. Uh, I'm very impressed with the amount of science that they've got that you can read about when you're doing the experiments. And then when you're ready, there's a big button in the middle here, start the experiment. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to walk you through every single step. Uh, the first thing it does is say, take these from the starter kit. And then take these from the experiment kit. So you've got everything you need on hand as you do the experiment. And then it's going to walk you through every single step. Bit by bit with uh, animations to make it easy. And here we are doing every single step as we go. It's a much easier way to follow the instructions than uh, using the booklet. And every now and then uh, there's some help information like here. Oops, I poured too much resin. And so you can click on that and it can tell you what the resolution to that. For example, here it says this isn't a big deal to remove the resin, pinch the filter, blah, blah, and pour the excess resin back into the vial. Continue the experiment. No problem at all. Lots and lots of instructions, some extra information. What do I need the first vial for? And then it will tell you. Let's get to the end of the experiment. And finally, you get a choice to say it doesn't work or it works. And if you don't get it to work, then you can put a description in and it will automatically get sent to them so that they can fix it and presumably give you a response telling you um, what you can do about it. And then it takes you to some troubleshooting, which hopefully will help you solve the problem for yourself. And finally, at the end, you have a chance to rate the experiment. And then it walks you straight into the next experiment. Mel Science also wants you to have a VR experience, virtual reality. Now, unlike buying a dedicated VR headset that will set you back hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in the case of the Apple Vision Pro, you get one free with your first order. Now it's this cardboard box here, and you may think that's uh, not very exciting, but uh, let's take a look. You pull it out of the box, and then it assembles pretty easily using Velcro parts. You can see there's actually some instructions and you pull these apart. These pieces here, Velcro the sides together and this piece on the top goes up to the top Velcro like so. And then we'll pull off these blue pieces protecting the lens. Uh, it may look cheap and cheerful.
But then what you do is you take your phone and you slot your phone into this spot here, like so. Take your phone and you put it in there. Velcro holds it together. And then obviously you put this over your nose and you look through. So I've loaded my iPhone into the back of the VR goggles and now I'm looking at the virtual reality lab and my first impression is that the VR immersion is fantastic uh, excellent 3D I can look around, there's different icons I can click on for different information and there's menus where you can look at the menu and there's a button on the top here that you can use to click on the menu item and go into it. So now I'm zooming into a pencil lead and looking at all the atoms zoomed all the way into protons and electrons. Absolutely fabulous. The text is right there in front of my eyes, very crisp and clear. Oh, and there's questions in here too. It's asking me how many protons this atom has. So I can go ahead and look at the menu for the right answer and select. Oh, <laughs> and I got it wrong. So, so much for my scientific knowledge. Let's have a look. Ah, down here there's also some other icons uh, for refresh and pause and then there's a home button. So I can go home and back to the lab and uh, go and choose another experience. That's absolutely fabulous VR. And when we come to reviewing the experiment boxes, we'll see if they have any extra VR experiences relevant to the experiments we're looking at. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. In summary then, I'm really excited about this. The packaging is absolutely excellent. You saw the foam inlining to the box. Uh, there's glass components in there. You get two sets of goggles, um, all very high quality items. And I think it's really fun. I, I, think, I think everybody is going to have a lot of enjoyment running these experiments. Overall, I think this is perhaps the highest quality kit that I've seen so far. And I'm excited to get further into the experiment kits. I think Mel Science is uh, doing a really good thing here. So that's it for this video about the starter kit. Stay tuned for videos where I'll be reviewing the experiment kits themselves. Mel Science has hundreds of the things, so... Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of science that we're going to get down to with these kits. And if you like the channel, and if you like these videos, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Until then, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the video. And I'll see you next time. Cheerio.